So if you're thinking about how good life is and how good you feel and about the wonderful things that you're anticipating or living, then the more attention you give to those things, the more thoughts about them will feel like they're hatching within you. It's actually law of attraction, bringing them into your vibrational frequency where you interpret them and they feel like your thoughts that you're thinking. Do you hear this? You talk too much. You talk too much. You're trying to figure this stuff out too much. <laughs> in the constant chatter about it you overthink it and and what we mean by this is every subject is really two subjects what is wanted and the absence of what is wanted so sometimes you might think you're talking about being more prosperous when actually what you're feeling is not enough prosperity and you're trying to convince the universe through your effort and through your words that prosperity should be yours and so Sometimes when you're talking about what you think is prosperity, you're actually just beating the drum of not having enough of something that you want. And so that's why you're so wise when you say, I need to be aware of how I feel. So if the conversation is fun, if it's pleasant, keep doing it. But if it's not, if it's what we really, here's an easy way of looking at it. If it's effort to focus, then there's resistance present that you're trying to overcome with your effort and you're most likely doing yourself more detriment than you are benefit because your a desire is activated but you're on the other end of the stick does that make sense to you all of us are focused with you toward the outcome that you are seeking and that if you'll just relax impulses will come to you ideas will come to you rendezvous will be inspired within you everything that you're wanting not just to get to the end result that you think you're looking for but for a really fun journey along the way to the never-ending result to the never-ending result just fun now and fun now and fun now and fun now and that's what we want you to understand that grinding away on a problem trying to get to a solution by pointing out with all the evidence and justification of what's wrong with the problem is not the way you get to the solution and the way you feel by now is probably giving you keen awareness of that you see here you are in your physical body as an extension of source energy but that larger part that you are an extension of still exists in the non-physical realm in the vibrational realm and still stands in a pure by your standards vibration in other words there's no resistance in that vibration of your core or source so when you identify that you want something source acknowledges that you want it knows that it is vibrationally yours and holds no vibration of doubt at all about it so the way you feel is your indication always 100% of the time of whether you are in tune with the way the larger part of you sees this whatever it is you're thinking about or whether you are not if you're in tune with it then you feel enthusiasm or you feel at a minimum peacefulness and satisfaction you feel clarity you feel satisfaction about it you see but if you're feeling doubt or worry or fear or if you're feeling like you need to justify it or explain it to someone or defend it if you're pointing out all of the reasons why it should be because these reasons where it isn't feel so off to you then you're practicing a vibration that's so different from the vibration of source who is on it that you can feel that discord instead of that resonance with with what you're wanting so then we began explaining to you that you are since you are vibrational beings that you've created a vibrational reality that will manifest into your experience if you will give it a little while and if you will not beat it to death with your doubt and fear and worry in other words it will whatever you want will occur it will come into your experience if you find vibrational alignment with it and you can tell by the way you feel whether you're finding vibrational alignment with your desire or whether you're not in other words the better you feel the more alignment and the more consistently you feel that alignment then the faster it's coming and the more satisfying it is along the way some of you were not very excited about our explanation of your vibrational version and we don't blame you because we know you didn't come here to be vibrational versions you came here to be manifested versions you came here the kids know it I'm supposed to be having fun right now you came to enjoy your life you came to feel the progress you focused yourself into a time and space reality 
because it's fun to measure distances and spaces and progress it's fun to feel the evolution of your beingness that's why you're here in this time space reality we're not trying to get you to go into the vortex we just feel good about what you've dreamed up and feel satisfied even though it hasn't manifested that is not our message at all our message is about the surest fastest funnest way for you to manifest your heart's desire because the source within you is already focused upon your heart's desire and in fact the reason that you can even feel negative emotion is because you're not focused upon it while the source within you is and step two is source becomes the vibrational equivalent of it and law of attraction gathers all of the cooperative components and there is a vibrational version of what you want now a vibrational version of what you want now oh you want to realize it with your physical senses oh you want to know about what real creation is about what real birthing is you want to understand how things go from thought into manifestation it's the debate that's heavy in your world talking about what's happening right now are you the realizer of what you and that which you call source have created are you on your trajectory of well-being or are you off of it and so that's what we talk about all day every day Abraham you say I want to realize this vibrational reality I do want to see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it and we say then you must find the frequency of it of the presence of it you must talk about how it will feel when you're living it you must talk about why you want it and what it would feel like to live it you must find the feeling of abundance before abundance can be yours you must find the feeling of clarity so you let's say that you are a hundred thousand dollars in debt and you would like to have a hundred thousand dollars in your bank account so there's about a two hundred thousand dollar gap between where you see yourself right now and where you would like to be and you say Abraham tell me what to do and we say we say first accept that it's not likely that that $200 gap is going to close today in terms of what's realized in your bank account but you can close that gap between doubt and knowing in a minute or two you can close that gap between being fearful about your financial condition and being hopeful about your financial condition in just a few conversations with yourself or with us or with each other and if you understand that you can close the vibrational gap then that means you can close the manifestational gap because that's all that is required in order for you to begin to be the realizer the realizer the liver the seer the hearer the smeller the taster the toucher the manifester the actualization -er. <laughs> the real life liver of what you are asking for so when you say to us I want to feel my way we say start early in the day before other momentum has you off on some wild goose chase that isn't serving you because this is something that you may not understand when you think a thought for as little as 17 seconds that thought gathers and has enough momentum that another thought like it will join it and as you maintain that thought for another 17 seconds and then another until you've maintained that thought that pure thought not what's wanted in absence of it but what's wanted and why what's wanted and why for as little as 68 seconds there's enough momentum then that happens that you can begin the realization process right then thoughts will begin to flow to you inspiration will begin to flow to you thoughts are powerful and law of attraction is responding to your powerful thoughts so when you care about the way you feel while you are thinking then all kinds of wonderful things begin to actualize or materialize in your experience something that is important for you to realize and we really want to put this in here so that you can really absorb this you may not have considered this before and it can make a big difference to you law of attraction is always responding to your vibration and when you are awake you are always offering one sometimes you're offering it on purpose we call that deliberate creation sometimes you're offering it by default you're just watching what's on television or just listening to whoever's complaining in your ear sometimes you do it on purpose often you don't 
But your point of attraction is always, when you are conscious and awake, always on. But when you sleep, momentum stops. Now, momentum and law of attraction are the same words. Because law of attraction is talking about the momentum of the thoughts that you're practicing. And so the way, if we were standing in your physical shoes and we wanted to get off on a better foot and today, never mind what happened yesterday or the day before or any time before, today, right now, today, it's my dominant intent that I'm gonna look for things that cause me to find resonance with what's in my vortex. Because if I can right here and now find resonance with what's in my vortex, then there will be a steady realization of what's in the vortex into my manifested experience. That's how it works, you see. That's how things come into reality. You all are very good at interpreting vibration through your physical senses. And you are so good at it that you have become primarily observers of what's been created rather than creators active in the process. But if you will be aware that there is a vibrational reality, some of it that you put there, it was a trajectory before you were even born. Much of it you've put there since you've been focused in this physical body. There's a vibrational reality that contains everything that you want and source and all that is the energy that creates worlds is amassed and focused upon it and the only missing piece for this to be fully realized by you in your see it hear it smell it taste it touch it reality is that your frequency is off from what you are asking for and the way and so the way we're wanting you to feel that we're wanting you to acknowledge that this vibrational reality exists we been calling it a vortex a vortex of creation because it's swirling and law of attraction has gathered everything that you want and here you stand in some relationship with that vortex and where you stand right here and now thinking the thoughts that you're thinking and feeling the thoughts that you're feeling about the thoughts that you're thinking here you stand offering a vibration that is either allowing what's in that vortex to be realized by you or is disallowing it to be realized by you you get it it's sort of like You've got your tuner set just a little off sometimes. So even though all of us are queued up saying, there it is over there, there it is over there. That's a trail you're going to really like. You would really have fun. There's someone who will meet you there that you'll have a really good time with. Oh, you're really going to like this. You're really going to like this. You're just off just a little bit. And you're saying, I don't like this so much. I don't like this so much. I don't like this so much. But as you start tuning your frequency, as you're talking about, as you start caring about the way you feel, then you start instead of zigging and zagging you're zigging and zigging and zagging and zagging you're rendezvousing with the things that you want and that's when life becomes begins to be that delicious experience that you expected when you made the decision to come into this physical experience so we're talking about your point of attraction and what you're doing about it and the likelihood of what you're doing about it right now is that it's likely to be doing about it about what you've been doing about it because that's the habit of doing about it that you've got going on you sort of that's what beliefs are beliefs are just thoughts that you keep thinking they don't have any basis in reality other than that you're creating reality from the beliefs that you hold you see you could create entirely different realities and you don't need everybody else or anybody else to agree with you you've just got to agree with you because your life caused you to tell source what you want about that and 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 sources lined up source is on it the question is where are you in relationship to all of that so if we were standing in your physical shoes we would acknowledge when we go to bed all right this has been a great day whatever it was because at its worst I put more good stuff in the vortex and at its best I realized some of it this has been a really good day and tomorrow another really good day and now I'm going to lay myself down to rest and while I do my point of attraction is going to become inactive because my consciousness is going to leave and I'm going to rest and the cells of my body are going to take over so source cells up to you I'm out of here oh by the way when I wake up in the morning I'm gonna get off on a really good foot before you know it you have pushed the reset button you have reassigned your position in this time space reality you have established a whole new point of attraction that has a whole new vibrational relationship with what's in your vortex and as soon as today things begin to happen that indicate to you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe we'll see you in the next